Put your hands together for Brother Ali in the building. Let's stop performing with us in the African culture there. So the first one is called, um, Can You Feel It? Can you feel it? Can you feel it, brothers and sisters? Can you feel the wings of change passing along? Can you feel the echoes of freedom ringing in your ears? The very souls of my ancestors calling me ten to a thousand to fold to come into the light of hope. Can you feel the tribe? Can you feel the cries of the tribe flowing from the burial ground to the polluted city air that blood, <coughs> scattered emotions and unaccomplished dreams? Can you feel the chants of the warriors hovering through the clouds to hear them whispering the words of solidarity, action, and unity for all? Can you feel the voices of our people heard through the ghettos of the city to the villages of the motherland screaming, we want to be free, we want to be free, free. Can you feel the drums of the circles beating hard so that the courses of deceased revolutionaries rise up, rise up, rise up, so they can walk and roam through the damn streets for which their legacies have been inspired. Due to the wicked forces, collaboration to fuck up this planet and to corrupt everything peaceful and just on it. Can you feel the tears of Mother Africa as they're rolling down like a stream of blood flowing from the heads of our G-Rods? Eradicated from the evil grips of colonialism, apartheid, and massacre that plagued us for more than 400 years, yet we are still feeling its ever-continued effect. Can you feel the sobering cries of our youth who want? Can you feel the sobering cries of our youth? Hollering, hollering through incessant ears of those who want to turn back the flow of revolutionary change. Can you feel the coming of one million men with united fists, with united fists of liberation? Can you feel the chill of power hissing through the dark song, hoping to the horizon with the fall of sweet bounding? Can you feel the spirits of King Tuck, Shaka Sue, Douglas, Sean Jordan, True, Tuckman, Welch, Marcus, Martin, Malcolm? Kwame, H. Fred Brown, and other scholars of revolutionary dialogue, screaming through the corridors of history, blinded by the, blinded by the opinions of so-called historians who only believe in his story. <laughs> While a moral state of mind has been suggested by have been suggested by areas of interest, which are totally full of nonsense and the cost of bullshit. What I'm saying is, can you feel the tide solution changing? Can you feel the target lives of black men, women, and children surge with their cries of retaliation and pain? Can you feel the essence of the great tribes checking their hymns of survival? Can you feel one million warriors screaming for retribution against a past corrupt Bush control regime whose one and only purpose is to systematically persecute and eliminate every free freaking brother that don't subject to that kind of rule? Tell me, can you feel the wave of hope passing through us? Can you feel the sea of positivity with a powerful tidal wave destroying every stench of negativity? Can you feel the light of wisdom shining on a world of say? But furthermore, can you feel the power of our people? The voice of a new generation of poets and poetesses. The truth, the heart of a radical, the love for yourself, brothers and sisters. The time for revolution is coming and it is near. Question is, can you feel it? Can you feel it? Yeah. Can you feel it? I can feel it coming. <laughs> oh Lord, I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Oh Lord, can you feel it coming yeah, tonight? Oh Lord. Oh no. It's out. It's entitled Revolutionary Thoughts from the Mind of a Radical. And this is my book. You can get it online at stores.noodle.com slash the far corner. <laughs> Too many nigga drums running rapid on our control, set the ending of the harvest labor time. With the sickly sucking to us by the ever growing clouds and angle slashing culture. They constantly hide in many places. 
Conceal itself from many faces and dare to never leave any traces. Only to wait for the right moment to let loose on an unexpected world and to be foregrounded by their corrupted white collar slave madness. To seek out and entice, or should I say, brainwash any grudging brother or sister into their sick ass web of deception, agony, and anarchy. Confusing their conscience into sadly thinking that this world is a better place, while we, the small man, know that this is an ever turning ball of confusion. Still turning with its wars and conflicts, continue to put a dent on modern day civilization. Negatrons are still programmed by racist mindset computer chips, which are activated when real brothers question their blackness. Instead, they pack some heat and shoot up blocks and cause a shitload of bloodshed, leaving a generation of innocent lives dead. Eating crack weed and other dirty drugs on the corner of the dead of night. Some of them want to be gangsters, crooks, hustlers, and thugs. Having so many children with no eyes of care, fucking up the poor <coughs> child welfare. Food becomes super pigs with big dick, and dirty women become their hoes with nasty tricks. Seducting, seducing conscious brothers with that nasty infected sweet spot that make them want to holler. But still, little crimes are still blinded by like old man ruckus from the food dots. Always worship the sick agenda in which they put upon us to hold us down and to have us harassed by their blue collared foot soldiers. Only to them, only for them to reduce our lifespan by a third or maybe a half, causing a massive bloodbath of our people by a race who don't give a fuck about us. So tell me, how can we constantly reprogram the mind of a setup? Well, it's just that simple. But we get not the but we get not the nigga trying from his big routine of causing mass death to us. Then secluding in from reality into a dark corner of the mind where no one can find him. We begin the first phase of reprogramming by stripping away his man, by stripping away the nigga trauma of his manhood, plaguing him to plaguing him to succumb to his insecurity just like a child with no mother or father to watch him grow. Strapping him down to the chair with the shackles of slavery, the same ones that the bastard slave mongers used to hold us down in their stinking plantations. Make that food cement to images to the images and the horrors of suffering but the faces had placed among us, causing him to panic, shiver, and sweat. Also forcing him to develop major paranormal relapse, shaking and coming close to the fact that it is his own hate, his own suffering and loyalty to his factor that got him messed up in the first place. Kissing his ass, sucking his big white dick, being his personal <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Assist, assisting him in making life so damn miserable for the rest of us. Can't have a damn thing, can't have a dance in our own way, can't marry our own women. We can't even fight or fight his own life because of his silly ass. He's dead programming section is ongoing so that fool can state the fact that he is turning his back on his own. Just for the love of his savior, the plantation king, the corrupter, the damn swiftler. His brain was the psychologically damaged by a big white dialogue which is separated from the cerebrum, only to be morally and practically washed from the old world bullshit that was fed to us, that was fed to us by those sick ass sell out educators. His body would be branded and scarred like a piece of meat left to be molded by the worst bacteria. Eyes looking stone and blurred, only to see a collage of great black history wanting to be transmitted into the psyche. Still trying to be presented to the fact that he is a king among kings instead of a slave. The Nina John would do anything to remain loyal to his damn suppressors by lying, scheming, and denying his own self, history, and culture. But that won't stop the re-educating process of the decorporating section, which is to systematically eradicate the white double dialogue out of his mindset and then cleanse the cerebral of all things wicked and pure until he realizes, until he realizes. He is no longer a controlled mind slave, corrupted by everything one right left and still into one. So that he becomes a true soldier in the struggle for freedom and equality. And that is the deep organization of a nigger trauma. Take control of your mind, brothers and sisters. Use the knowledge, never abuse it. Don't let anyone or anything change it. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.